British culture lovers in Florence have much to look forward to this year as the British Institute of Florence celebrates its 100th anniversary. Celebrations kick off with a big film festival at the Odeon Cinema. Another historic institution and hub for English speakers in Florence, the Odeon Cinema is at the helm of this initiative. First in the lineup was Kenneth Branagh in The Entertainer, followed by the Italian premiere of A United Kingdom, which followed an international scandal that ensued when the Prince of Botswana married a white woman from London in the late 1940s. The program for British 100 Film Festival is continually evolving, and new events are expected to be announced throughout the year. We spoke with leaders from both institutions to get an idea of what to expect during the festival and the other centenary celebrations, as well as the idea behind the long-standing Odeon and British Institute collaboration. We are very happy to participate in this celebration, also because it's a long story that uh, links us to the British Institute and all the people who speak English and American in Florence, because they're very more than 20, 25 years that we screen films in English, and we are a gathering point for people for foreigner in Florence. So we are really happy uh, to participate to this uh, big celebration. So we wait for you in the uh, Audion Theatre. Thank you. We're going to be celebrating all year in different ways. Um, the wonderful thing about the Cinema Odeon is that we've been working with them for many, many years. In fact, we discovered looking in the archives, which is something that you do when you have a centenary, that 1948, the, the uh, Odeon Cinema showed a film which had been made by the Royal Air Force, the British Air, uh, Air Force, about the work of the Secret Services in the Second World War. So this is only part of a long uh, relationship, a long collaboration that we have with the Odeon Cinema. We're also, our school is in the same building as the Odeon Cinema. So our students are used to going to the Odeon Cinema. We all have coffee in the Odeon Bistro. Um, we, we, the, the, we are part of that, the, the family of that Palazzo Strozzino. So when they came to us suggesting that um, this British, British, British chain, or they call it, um, that we would start with a, a theatre production by Kenneth Branagh, starring Kenneth Branagh in The Entertainer, followed by the Italian premiere of United Kingdom, which you've probably seen has had rave reviews about this extraordinary story, also from the 1940s and 50s, and then Richard III with Ray Fiennes and Vanessa Redgrave. It was, it was a gift for us. Um, we're going to go, we carry on with um, sequel to Trainspotting. We've been waiting for that for 30 years. One of the questions was whether it's going to be subtitled, even for those of us who speak English, because as you might remember, the first one was quite the, the Glaswegian was quite a, a challenge. Mm. So it goes. We're going through the year. We also have um, a special occasion towards the end of the year in October, because it's the 30th anniversary of Room with a View, and uh, James Ivory, the director, is going to be coming back to Florence for that, and with quite a few of the cast. I don't. You're too young to remember Room with a View, but maybe you've seen it on DVD. Um, and as we are in a library with a view, we're going to organise for, for James Ivory and for the cast of Tea with a View. So um, I'll let you know in due course of the exact date for that, but that will be, I think, a very, very special event about a quintessentially uh, British film set in Florence.